Special eater, crazy legs, Conti. Hey, good morning. It's Bill and Jessica, Power 1017 in Salisbury, Ocean City, Maryland. How are you? Good morning. Oh, I am I am spectacular if I'm on in Ocean City, Maryland. Absolutely. <laughs> crazy legs, Conti, right? <laughs> is, is that, that, is, that is correct. That is my legal name. Yes. You know, that is, uh, you know, I'm a major league eater. I've been with Major League Eating for 19 years. I'm a gustatory gladiator. Um, but I really, um, you know, my early stomach stretching was out of Maryland, and I'm the only competitive eater in history. You're not allowed alcohol during the competition. But my contest rider says that a crab cake eating contest, I'm allowed up to three national bohemian Natty Bo beers. So, oh, yes, oh, yes. Goodness. You know what? Yeah. I, I'm from Maryland, but I've never had a Natty Bo. I'm more of a Coors Light guy. Never had a Natty Bo. That's like a sin here in Maryland. You're you're probably you're going with like Burt Reynolds, you know, going across the Rockies, driving the power <laughs> course like that. Here's Natty Bo. If you're you're in, uh, you know, I think I like it in cans better than bottles. Something about the metallic tint just gives it a little extra oomph. Uh, but it's my all-time favorite beer, and I actually I live in New York City, but I always keep some on hand. Post contest, uh, I like to to raise one. Um, but I know you guys also you you broadcast you know in parts of New Jersey. September, we go to uh, Trenton Thunder Park, and we do Case's Pork Roll. So your Coors Light Natty Boat dilemma is my Scrapple, because I prefer Scrapple. No, wait, we like Scrapple down here. Don't know, worry. Love it. No, but we like Scrapple down yeah. here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but, but Case's, case, you know, first Taylor Hemp, Case's Pork Roll is the preferred uh, competitive eater's sandwich food. So I, I, like a little, uh, I like a little division of food, a little controversy in it, as obviously you guys do too. Well, you know what? They're doing the uh, hot dog eating contest up in Coney Island for uh, July 4th. We are actually having this Friday here, because our radio station, uh, we cover Maryland, Delaware. But, uh, mm-hmm. you, you know, we... Um, are located in Georgetown, Delaware. So they have the hot dog eating contest in Coney Island. This Friday, in kind of tribute to that, we're doing our own version of the hot dog eating contest here in Georgetown, Delaware. So I don't know where you're going to be Friday, but I'm officially inviting you down (laughs) here this Friday morning (laughs) to the morning show. That is an incredible invite. I will actually get to weigh in 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 New York City over at the uh, Hudson Yards. But as long as you guys are doing safety as Paramount EMTs, you know, a tribute is lovely. And I'm going to say, though, I'm, I'm not going to deride uh, Delaware, but I don't know if the Dewey Beach and Rehoboth Beach eaters have the focus. There's too many distractions. It's way too many. To really, look. You, know, you know, mind over stomach matter. They've really got to hone in. You've got to ignore the, the people in, in, in uh, Speedos and bikinis. You've got to focus on your plate and your plate alone. Fireworks are going off. It's a real journey to the self. I love the I love that you know. I love that you know all about the area and the references. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a kick. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> no, that's great, but man. Then, you know, they'll probably still be digesting their dogs by Sunday when they tune into ESPN, and uh, we're on at high noon. Yes, um, the men and women eat uh, separately, two different contests, just on July fourth. Uh, and it's a spectacular day. It's our Super Bowl, our, our, our Tour de France, our, our Masters all rolled into one. Yeah, well, absolutely. The Nathan's annual uh, Fourth of July hot dog eating contest at Coney Island. Um, you know, something that we look forward to every year. It's definitely a tradition. Mm-hmm. So, ha- first off, Crazy Legs Conti, how did you become a competitive eater? Like, how, how did it start where you're like, you know what, I just want to start eating competitively. Like, I want to start, you know, entering these contests. Like, wh- how did it all go down? Well, it was interesting. I, I went to school in Maryland. Uh, I was a three-varsity, Division three athlete, but I mostly sat at the bench. I was better at the pregame meal than the Asheville Athletic. In yeah, right, I in right. New York. I was a fan of major league eating, and I was able to turn pro, uh, uh, and I'm a ranked competitive eater and i've done that for 19 years I'm, I'm kind of in the fat elvis jumpsuit stage of my career you know you already know i was probably drinking too much uh, natty bow so <laughs> if you're going on DraftKings to bet you'll want to bet the under for my hot dog total at the table but maybe my over for celebratory beers on the coney island boardwalk afterwards yeah right right so uh i, I mean for real though like how do you practice for this like you give give us kind of like the rundown yeah, so Major League Eating uh, normally would do 60 events a year and everything from buffalo chicken wings to corn on the cob in Florida, and each food has its own discipline. So we, we don't go to all you eat buffets. We don't stretch our stomachs out in unhealthy ways. It's all technique training. There's a technique to every food, and you have to figure out what that is, and that's going to be where the great competitive eaters lie. So when you're watching on July 4th, you're going to see – people separating bun and dog. I happen to dunk my buns in Tang. It's good enough for 
space oh. and the astronauts are good enough for my Nathan's hot dog buns. And you just try to get into a rhythm, and that's really what the great eaters do. You're sort of doing Tetris in your stomach, but you'll see a guy like Joey Josh Chestnut. He looks like a New Orleans trombone player. He's just shaking and, and, and pushing stuff down, Yeah, well, and that's well, where the great eaters make it. Because, uh, you know, two things. Well, n- n- number one, um, how do you, like, go and do these contests and then the next day enjoy, like, a nice meal? How, how, like, how can you... You, do, you don't enjoy a nice meal the next day. It's like you have to die. 24 hours to 36 hours, that's all you're going to have. You're just waiting for it to settle. You do drink a lot of liquids after you kind of create a log flume-like water park ride from your esophagus to your lower intestine. Digestion is a natural process of uh, wow. of competitive eating. Uh, but I do watch what I eat year-round. I'm, I'm healthful every bite, chew, and swallow. I, I took up yoga so I could eat more uh, hot dogs and buns at the table. I do you know, yoga with Adrian on YouTube, but don't tell her because I don't know if yogis <laughs> really want to hear her that I'm doing it to... You know, my downward dog is so I can have more dogs actually go downward in my system. <laughs> right. Well, you know, I mean, it's like, uh, you, you know, you get up on stage and you think that some of these bigger guys and, and bigger uh, people would be, you know, like the champs. And it's they always the smaller, more. the smaller people are the are the more competitive eaters. And the thinner, thinner you are, the more you eat. I, I mean, that that's, that's what true. I've that's noticed. Sort of, sort, of, sort of the belt of fat theory, your, your stomach can expand like an accordion. When it hits the cut, subcutaneous fat, it'll stop. So... But it's also mind over stomach matter. I think those smaller eaters, they just want it more, and they're pre-visualizing in the contest. You know, I have to, because I've been doing this almost 20 years, I, you know, I've grown my beard out. I look like a, a combination of Salvador Dali and Grizzly Adams. They will now uh, check my beard for hot dog plots and ingestion. So, you know, Bounty, the great paper towel, comes by and they <laughs> oh check to, to make a deduction yeah. on my beard. You're going to have... For the first time this year. I'm not kidding. Oh, God. You know, Major League Baseball has substances. I have to have my beard checked. So. What? The smaller guys. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. Them. I'm using all the all the wily veteran tricks I can and uh, you know, I'm happy to have bounty checks. But Joe Girardi. Time, you know, I want to. I want to put up a personal bet. Halfway through that uh, competition on Fourth of July in Coney Island, Joe Girardi's going to stop the competition and come up there and want you checked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's going to want you checked. <laughs> yeah, that, it's true. Yeah, that, that might be. Uh, you know, he'll get there at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. So, uh, have you? How many years have you been doing? Uh, you know the uh, Nathan's uh, hot dog contest. So you normally have to qualify. I, I've been at the final table. This will be my fifteenth time in nineteen years. Um, I'm super excited to be back at the wow. table and on ESPN and using the collective energy of all the cameras and the fans and to be back at Coney Island in person. Uh, it's so important. And uh, you know, I, I I didn't want to have to like miss another year and then on my twentieth year ask for a sponsor's exemption. So. It's going to be a super special year uh, to be back there. Wow, that's awesome, man! Look, we can't wait again. It's like a tradition. Uh, always watch it if we, you know, if for some reason look at the TV in time. I'm always DVRing it or whatever. So, um, what's uh, the strategy this year? Anything new? Anything uh, you're, or anybody else? Well, to, you know, anybody else to look out for? You know, yeah, so I think the focus, especially if you're going to DraftKings and betting, the women's contest has an interesting wrinkle. Five-time champ Mickey Sudo is mm-hmm. pregnant, so she's not competing. Okay. Uh, her partner, Nick Weary, is a top male eater, so George Shea feels like the offspring of the two top competitive eaters is going to end the, uh, the competitive eating forever. It's going to be the one, like the golden child with Eddie Murphy. But Michelle Lesko is going to lead the women's field as a top contender, and I think it's going to be a bun buzzer beater for the women's field. And on the men's side, you've got Jeff Esper, who's a great eater, who's beaten Joey Chestnut in other Hooters chicken wings and things like that. Um, There's some great eaters uh, who are debuting at Coney. Uh, So the numbers will be uh, interesting to see. And then Major League Eating at MajorLeagueEating.com will rank all the eaters afterwards. And uh, we'll just get on to the next food. I'm a food lover. I love to go out to eat. I love wings, burgers, hot. I love all of it. I love all the junk. That, that's my favorite. I just love to eat. Um, like, what's your favorite thing? Do you ever like enjoy what you're eating, or is it totally business? Absolutely. Well, you know, you know, Ocean City is 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 a, is a part <laughs> of town. Is appreciative of things. Uh, I love New Orleans. I love the Acme Oyster Eating Contest because oysters, Gulf oysters, are giant. You know, they're like a meat down there. They're like a yeah. meat. Yeah. So each year that they have it and I go down, the numbers will range. My personal best is 32 dozen in eight minutes. But Woo! Corner wow. of the Cobb, Corner of the Cobb this year, I came in third. My technique, the manual typewriter, was not good enough to compete with Gideon the Truth OG and Darren Breeden, who used the Florida Rake or the Florida Stripper. 
Uh, I'm the four-time corn and cob eating champion. So it just shows you that, you know, parents who tell their kids to eat their vegetables, like you might become the five-time corn and cob eating champion if you're in the clean plate club as a kid. So wow. when you turn 18, come to Major League Eating, and, and I'd be happy to lose that corn title and, and, the and, next wave of competitive and, eater. And, and what's up with Badlands Booker? Uh, you know, Badlands Booker is a stalwart of the sport. He's got seniority over me, and he's taken up Badlands Chugs, which is an incredible YouTube channel, over 2 million subscribers. Oh, i got to go um, check that he, out. Oh, you got to check out Badlands Chugs. It's, it's, I, I don't even go to the Internet that often. I own three typewriters, but the first stop <laughs> of my day is Badlands Chugs, just to see what preposterous amount of liquid he's chugging and then belching. And um, I feel like competitive eating is covered. We've got the solid food. We've got, you know, the liquid. And yeah. then it sublimates, and then you've got the belch, because I think George, the smorgasbord chigger, is the, the world belching champion, and he'll be at the Coney Island table. So That's Peter awesome. Eden's got it all covered. Again, the uh, Nathan's annual 4th of July hot dog eating contest at Coney Island. Crazy Legs Conti, we're going to be rooting for you. Uh, and, you know, definitely want to follow you. If people want to get up with you, follow you on your uh, eating journey. You know, how can they do that? So you can check me out at crazylegsconti.com. Uh, if you want to emulate what I do in competition, there's Major League Eating the Game. You can play as my avatar, steal free calories, or a new video game called Bite the Bullet in a world where everything is uh, edible, even you know vegans and metal and things like that. But uh, MajorLeagueEating.com is where to go to find out where the circuit is taking you, and I cannot wait to get back to uh, Maryland and to Ocean City and to, Friday. to raise that natty bow. Fr- Friday. I got to go to the way in. Hey. me in. I got to get cleared to eat on July 4th. Don't I'm worry. Hey, don't. I'll be down. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just Friday, Georgetown, <laughs> Delaware. Come on over. We got you. The Bill and, It's the Bill and Jessica hot dog eating contest. <laughs> All right. Well, it's going to be a great day and a great weekend. So. Hey, have a great day, my man. Happy 4th Thank of July. Thank you so much. Happy 4th. Eat all you can. Time for a quick recharge, and then we'll be back.